Hi, I'm El Gavalo Virta, and this one is about Angle Fireball 100. Yes, indeed. Angle Fireball 100. I gotta say, there's a reason why I've used the Angle Fireball 
60 on both Cyrus albums. Debut album, Letters to Myself, and our latest No Hellos in Hell. It's on the left or right rhythm guitar track, I don't remember. But, man, it's... I've tried a bunch of angles. None of those amps made me feel like this one. I don't know what it is, but I found out that the more simple the amp, the better the sound. If you pack a lot of features, lots of everything, it's versatile, yes, can sound good. But I found that these amps that has small amount of features, 800, one channel, six knobs, this is a little bit more, two channels. I just connect with these amps way better than any other stuff. So, you heard on the song, I used the amp with the mid boost, with and without overdrive, and I used now a TS9. That's a J8's bonsai, but it has basically nine different tube screamers. I didn't use any drive, I just boosted, cranked the levels almost and the tone almost up. And I found out that the TS-808, TS-9 tube screamer type overdrives works, they work a little bit better with angles than with my the overdrive that I mostly use, the Bus SD-1. SD-1 works great with Marshalls, but with angles, it's a little bit... I don't know, tightens it too much, that's something. But anyway, great amp, really close to, actually, my Marshalls. So, let's go through the, the features. So, two channels, two master volumes, separate volume for the overdrive channel. I don't have the food switch now, but if I understood correct, you can have like a, the, the masters are food switchable. Now they are like clean is master A, <clears throat> overdrive is master B. But with the food switch, I think you can control them that you can have like A on both and then use the B like as a lead volume and so on. And this is loud. I like it. Because, I mean, I'm not using a the speaker cabinet right now. I'm using a Sir Reactive Load with my signature IR, Valo Virtuos from Jens Bugrens, lead and clean pack. But with 4x12 cabinets, because how speakers work, you know, they move air. The louder you push them, the more they move, the more air they move, the more fuller the sound is. And this is loud. This is as loud as my 800s. And I like that. So, basic controls, bass, middle, treble, lead volume. Presence is global, the bottom switch is global. I, I had it off now, I didn't feel the need to use that, but it gives you even more bottom. I have the bass cranked, basically like on my 800s. I mean, you could dial this bass a little bit less and at the bottom, but it's a different sound. Well, listen. <laughs> It's a little bit... I, I like to have this off and bass crank. Again, mids, same as with the angles, I think in general, they don't have that much mids, so I have this pretty much cranked. It's like mm, a little bit over 3 o'clock, which I, I think I, it's, it's pretty cool. You know, it opens just like like 800 does around noon. And the treble, that's very like delicate. It's it's like dark or fizzy and the switch, but it's just around two. There. And this is the volume. And the mid boost is pretty cool. It works really well 
with leads, it's kind of, well, it adds, I think it adds like, kind of like lower mids or something. Really, that alone brings the, the lead sound more, more audible, and that's also controllable with a full switch. Oh yeah, the gain. <laughs> It has insane amounts of gain. I have it now like on one, <laughs> a hair above. Again, like with many amps, the more gain you add, the sound becomes like, well, personally, I don't like that. A little bit floppy. Listen. <laughs> I don't know, I guess some people like to use that much gain, but it's like, I mean, I play metal and rock and I, I usually try to dial as less gain as possible because then the sound is more tighter and you can actually hear the notes and what you're playing and the amp reacts how you play your dynamics because I mean, this, your sound is here, this amplifies it, but if I have too much gain, I feel like my, my sound is lost somewhere, so... It's like barely when you open. Yeah, one o'clock. One no one, so eight o'clock. Really good. I, I like this. And and presence have quite a lot of presence like I usually do. I give that, you know, aggressive in your face tone and not muddy and that you can actually hear it through the mix. And then the clean channel. This is uh so you can get this from completely clean. To kind of like plexi when it increased the gain. Let's actually compare it to Plexi 1987X. So again, it's 50, but it's quieter. Usually the other angles, they aren't as loud as this. This is, I really like this. is a bit like buttery but really good and open it's not compressed you heard like it reacts really good the way you pick fantastic and then the lead channel my 800 from 84 aka the bad boy so Now we're with this.
Yeah! Okay, then 800. Okay, then about the overdrives. So let me show you how this works with SD and with the GS9 and same with the 800. So first nothing, then GS. Again, no drive, just boost. Then SD. This actually works really well with SD too. It's not as compressed as, as the other angles I try. It's more, more like my kind of amp. Cool, then 800. 800 with SD. <laughs> That was with SD. So, man, I like this. This is, uh, it's a bit smoother than 800, because what I really like about 800 is they have this openness, this, uh, they might sound like a bit harsh alone, but in the mix they just sit well. And that's that's the sound I've, I've grew up, I've, I've loved, I've used, I've played. But like I said, there's a reason why I have used Fireball on both Cyrus albums. That was actually Fireball 60. I can't remember now what the differences are, except that it's 60 watt. I guess, if I remember correct, it had only one gain on both and there wasn't mid-boost. I mean, it's a few years since we since I've, I've played with one, since we recorded the album, but yeah. I remember now I, I used it on the on the studio. It was producer Jacob Hansen had it and one of his favorite amps and I was like, yeah, cool, great. So well, I mean while we're at it, let's let's try with the active pickups, standard C tuning. Cyrus standard tuning and let's see how this works. So first uh, no overdrive. Then let's add a GS. Let's actually back the gain up. So this is really 
I would like to have this have a less gain because when it's not like this, it's nothing, and then when I open it, then it's good to be. Okay, let's next comp compare to 800 with SD. Now this is with GS. This one with SD. This one with GS. I mean, bad boy is a bad boy, it has that martial meat, oh, but I really like, like this amp. It's kind of like 800, like, but a little bit modern, I guess smoother. The, the high end, it, it, it's a different, it's a little bit like this on the angles, which is very, uh, angle has that character, it's a different one than Marshall, I mean, this has 6 or 6s, this one has 6550s. I mean, with a little bit modification, maybe different power amp tubes, <laughs> this could be really close to the bad boy. Yeah, so far, definitely my favorite angle. It's the most open, the most less compressed, the less modern. Generally, although I play, you know, cyber modern metal, Red Wolf, kind of like more heavier, maybe a bit you know, traditional metal. But I've never really liked modern high gain amps. To me, they're just too compressed. They don't, I don't know, they don't, old amps, you know, 800 plexis, I just have a, you know, mojo that I like. And this one, I like a lot, because it's kind of like, an old amp, even though it isn't. Strong recommendation. I don't know how long this was, I get a little bit excited, but I really like, like this amp. And thanks again to wonderful Swiss music store and Musics for letting me borrow this amplifier. I must say that if I won't have a plexi, because you heard, this does a plexi thing, surprisingly well, or my 800s and Marshalls, because this that, does that thing too. I would seriously consider buying this amp. Hey, thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this, and so on. If you like, thumbs up, please subscribe, you know the drill. See you again soon.